Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm outside St Peter and St Paul's Church in Harlington in West London. I've just been inside the church, I had a look, it's really nice inside. I'm not going to do a video inside, I'm going to post some pictures on the Facebook page, have a look at them. The reason we've come to Harlington is because we're going to a miniature railway, the Harlington Locomotive Society, which is just up here. Now, this bit of road I'm walking on has a bit of a rural feel to it. This is actually the old road, because what happened was the um, M4 was put through just up there. So the new road is just over behind this hedge, which we shall come to in a minute. So this would have been the old road from Harlington up to the railway station at Hazen Harlington. So we're now going to wander up here and we're going to go and find the Harlington Locomotive Society, which has been around since 1947. And today, as it's almost Christmas now, it's their mince pie run. So hopefully going to go and get a mince pie and um, have a Christmas trip on the miniature railway. So my plan is to cross the road somewhere here. It's not too busy today, it's um because it is a Sunday. Cross the road and then we shall make our way to the locomotive society. So this is the new bit of road. That's the old bit of road down there. Shows the rural feeling of field here. So you can see what I mean, although we're in suburban London, we're not in a really built up area of suburban London. So the miniature railway isn't far now. It's um, just about 200 yards up here, so I'm going to come down and show you when we get there. So I've come up the road a couple of hundred yards from where I was last talking. We're almost at the Harlington Locomotive Society now. So I'm quite looking forward to this. I have been to this railway once before. It's a really pleasant little railway in this um, fairly built-up area. It's, um, it used to be an orchard, so they've built the railway around the orchard, which makes it quite a pleasant um, ride. So if we get here, look, here we are. Arlington Locomotive Society, open this Sunday, miniature steam train rides. So there's loads of fun. Silhouette of a Great Western Prairie locomotive. So here we are, let's go and see what we have running today. We just see some steam now. So as we arrive into their car park, a lot of people here today. Let's hope we might get to see it. I like this thing here because it's a raised track and it effectively crosses like a fence. They've got a swing bridge so we can see is currently in the closed position and it's interlocked with the signals so the train can't come through so they've allowed some people to cross here once they swing this bridge back the gates will go down and the train will be able to pass so, so you see that hopefully the train should come along and hear the steam so it must be coming soon So the train goes off under the bridge, I'm going to take you over the bridge, we're going to go to the station and we're going to get on and we're going to have our ride. I like how I've got an old signal off a real railway. The track down there, goes off along there. I like how those have got a miniature railway at the bottom of their garden. Must be quite nice for them. Let you watch this train go past. So as we come up to here, that is their station over there. Now here there's all these locos waiting on the shed to go out. There's um Kobo Loco, they're like Boko in Tom Tank Engine. He was called Boko, but the real one's called Kobos because they have six wheels and two wheels. We've got class 20, we've got class 31, and it looks like we're about to see something completely different. There's a South African Loco coming towards us. I 
I really like that loco. Try and get a trip on that. I'm not sure how many trains there is out. So there's at least three steam locos out. Yeah, the, I can just see the prairie's pulled up there. So you get on the railway at this station and you get off just over there. So there's three steam locos out. So I think it's time I went and um, got my trip on the Arlington Locomotive Society's Mitch Railway.
You recommend me gas into the gas No, no, I just want a nice little So as the South African loco takes another group of passengers for a trip around the railway, I think it's time for me to end my visit. It's been a very enjoyable afternoon here at the Harlington Locomotive Society's Miniature Railway. I've had three winning locos, South African loco over there being one of them. I had a Great Western Prairie and another little 060 tank engine. So I'm going to go back over. I like their footbridge, it gives a nice view of the railway. We're going to go out of here and I'm going to head back home. I still think though, every time I come over this bridge, I always wonder what the people in those houses think about having a little miniature railway at the bottom of their garden. I know if I lived there, I would be quite happy to have a model railway or miniature railway society as my next door neighbours. So, looks like I might just see, I'm hear one more train, I see one more train, then it's time to go. So from the Harlington Locomotive Society, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're in West London then do come and visit them, as you can see buses pass the site. Do come and visit them, have a ride, it's a really nice afternoon and um, thank you for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment and tell your friends both about Henry's Adventures and about the Harlington Locomotive Society's Railway.